Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel. Either way, we are here to bring you the best in pro wrestling. Uh, old school, new school, all points in between. We continue to do that as often as we can. Over 2,400 of these available for your listening pleasure. And we continue to bring you the best where we can, when we can. Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine open up the program today, which is the... Superstars of Wrestling, uh, November 28, 1987 edition. This is also the program where uh, um, Jimmy Hart is announced as the new manager of Greg the Hammer Valentine. Obviously, Luscious Johnny B is kind of fading out a little bit here. So Jimmy Hart, a good manager for Valentine, of course. Beefcake and Valentine, former um, tag team champions with the Dream Team in 1986. And so they uh, are uh, good rivals as well. They do a house show run through 87 all the way into 89 on and off. Uh, lots of good matches here, uh, action here. Valentine takes control early, body slam, backbreaker, and the like. Beefcake doing the barber gimmick since about uh, the end of uh, March. So about six, seven, eight months into that. Uh, Valentine actually goes to the top rope. And gets uh, slammed off the top by Beefcake. Um, ultimately managing to get a body sl a, uh, slam off the top. Um, the both men get involved with the referee. Cut off by Valentine too as well. Tries to get a pretty good run here. Uh, managing to get the uh, attempted figure four does... does uh, Beefcake, that's before the referees cast aside, or it does Valentine, the Beefcake cast the referee aside, and again, doing the barber thing, they're trying to get a decent match out of him, they they do about a 10 minute match here, uh, kick off, and then uh, post the referee becoming involved, um, Beefcake manages to get locked in the figure four for several minutes, uh, lots of... Uh, Pain there. Beefcake barely able to walk away once the officials and other people come down. Million Dollar Man basically says he's going to buy everything and everyone in the WWF. Everyone has a price including, but not limited to, the uh, world champion Hulk Hogan. The idea that he wants to buy the championship already floated here in late November. Uh, and obviously that doesn't go very well for him. Uh, next up, a six-man tag team match just to fill time. And that is Coco Ware and the Young Stallions, Barry Horowitz, Dusty Wolf, and Terry Gibbs. I say just to fill time because there's no real long-term effect of the match. Obviously, the uh, Young Stallions, kind of a young bodybuilding, flashy tag team, kind of before the Rockers. That's the role they, they tried to put forward. Uh, major highlight for the double team maneuvers of one Young Stallions team here. Lots of double drop kicks, lots of basic stuff. Uh, Jimmy Hart out there with the Honky Tonk Man, challenging just about anybody who will listen, including but not limited to the uh, concept of maybe even a guy like Jimmy, uh, a guy like Randy Savage, a guy like um, um, you know George the Animal Steel, whomever. Uh, Scott Casey and Harley Race. Harley Race looks ridiculous with the. King's crown on his head. Casey not around for too much longer here. Misses a drop kick along the way. Jim Duggan in, back in the area at the time. Still with the WWF. Ends up leaving around this time. Kind of still doing the Patriot thing. Still talking about guys like but not limited to Nikolai Bonkoff and the like. Jake Roberts out next. Roberts here uh, with Rick Renslaw, Roberts, a baby face for a few months here since right before WrestleMania. Short clothesline punch kick, very basic stuff. And the DDT, Jake Roberts gets a win in about three minutes. The update is next with Craig DeGeorge. DeGeorge not exactly wanting to waste a whole bunch of time. Uh, kind of talking through the goings on in the WWF and... Uh, uh, managing to bring about the highlight for the WWF magazine, which is a Randy Savage highlight. And there we go there. Um, then we move to another in series of matches here, which happens to be 
a cutoff Don Morocco and Brian Costello up next. Um, also, there is a uh, bit of anger from none other than Cowboy Bob Wharton. Orton basically says the miscommunication there is an issue. Uh, Brutus Beefcake in the back saying that he's going to get even with Greg Valentine for all the trouble that Valentine has caused. Um, and Beefcake basically trying to be uh, cemented as a bigger baby face. The Brian Costello and um, and uh, Don Morocco match. Morocco basically gets a couple of shots and the uh, Tombstone pile driver. Then we see the Hart Foundation back with Jimmy Hart, Leaping Lenny Poffo, and Jerry Allen here, uh, closing the show pretty much. Uh, Bret Hart comes in, does his basic maneuvers. Uh, Nightheart using a bit of power maneuvers, the heart attack by both men, and the one, two, three. The Bolsheviks are here in the area. Of course, Boris Zukov, Nikolai Volkov, and they are managed by Slick. Slick basically letting it be known that he's happy with them. Getting rid of Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Butch Reed says he's going to bring an end to Don Morocco. As we close the event center style stuff, we'll be back with more right after this.